Welcome to the FM brand of wrestling and entertainment here on YouTube.com and the World Wide Web. Providing you with wrestling news, reviews, rumors, and insight you've grown accustomed to since 2010. My name is JC Styles, and I am back with the NXT review for December 26, 2018. NXT went off the air, and I have to say this was actually a pretty good NXT to end the year. I really can't f wait to see what's going to happen next week. Um, I believe next week is the uh, end of the year awards. I want, I don't know if they're going to have matches or not, but they might just have like a recap of some of the best matches of 2018. I also can't, I'm also liking the build going into NXT TakeOver, but let's get right to the action. We start off the show with women's action. Fatal 4-Way to determine the number one contender for the NXT Women's Championship. We saw Bianca Belair versus Io Shirai, Maya Yim, and Lacey Evans. This was actually a really good match. Uh, the four of them worked really well together. Maya Yim and Io uh, worked together as a team. Um, I'm, I'm, I wish that they would have made this maybe a fatal four-way elimination match. Um, that way the match would have went on just a little bit longer and we could have got to see more. I'm really digging the women's division. Uh, both on the main roster and NXT. NXT, they go hard because that's their time to shine and to put on great matches to showcase their uh, abilities. And this match was just nothing short of spectacular. Um, at one moment of the match, really got me worried. Um, I don't know if it was uh, poor planning or misjudgment of uh, distance. Uh, Maya Yim went through the middle rope uh, to do a suicide dive onto uh, Bianca Belair. And from the way Maya Yim landed, it looked like uh, Bianca was a little farther away than uh, anticipated. And then uh, there was another spot where Lacey Evans uh, threw uh, Io Shirai through the middle rope. And the way it looked, it looked like she like launched her through the middle rope. And as she was going through the middle rope, Io Shirai hit the middle rope with her knee. And she landed awkwardly on top of uh, Bianca Belair. And the way that uh, Io landed, it looked like she landed head first on the, um, the bottom part of the metal of uh, the entranceway. Uh, but all in all, both uh, females got back into the ring and finished the match. Bianca Belair is still undefeated and will be facing Shayna Baszler at NXT TakeOver. We then go into Jackson Riker versus Mitch Taverna. And for some reason, Jackson looks really familiar and I can't put my finger on it. But I really hope Mitch remembers the neighborhood because he got the bricks beat off him in this match. Uh, he really didn't get much offense. Uh, this was just a, uh, a big ground and pound in this match I really like um, the combination of uh, of styles in this uh, in this faction or this stable or whatever you want to call it uh, the forgotten sons it's almost like bikers slash drifters um, and it's really unique and I really like that but uh, we then go into a backstage segment with Chamaso Ciampa he talked about Johnny Gargano and Aleister Black. He talked about how Johnny and him traveled up and down the road, hotel room to hotel room, talking about DIY ruling NXT as co-champions. And he talked about how Johnny should have gold around his waist and how he's the heart and soul of NXT. And I, 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 I don't know why, but I see them tag-teaming again. Uh, maybe even when they go up to the main roster. Uh, but then again, I could be wrong. I mean, it would be nice to see DIY back. Because um, as solo competitors, I don't think uh, they'll handle the main roster very well. Or be used very well. Um, and I do know that they need to build on the tag team division as well. But that's just my opinion. Um, it was a very cryptic promo. But he got his point across. Uh, he talked about how Johnny should go after the North American Championship and things like that, which I agree. Uh, Johnny should be champion. I would have loved to have seen him win the NXT Championship, but I don't think uh, the, uh, Triple H sees him as ruling the uh, NXT Kingdom as champ. We then go into the Tag Team Championship 
title match uh, as the main event. Heavy Machinery versus the NXT Tag Team Champions Undisputed Era. It was Kyle O'Reilly and Roderick Strong defending the titles. And they wound up picking up the win and retaining the titles. And this match was actually pretty good. I enjoyed it. I, I really do enjoy all of the NXT matches. But this match I enjoyed really much in particular because I'm a big, uh, well not a big, but I do enjoy and I do like uh, the Undisputed Era. And Heavy Machinery really impressed me too because I haven't really gotten to watch them much, but they did impress me. I like the style of their tag team. It's almost kind of like a... They have the brute force and the agility like the Road Warriors, just without the makeup and uh, spikes. But really, really good. A really, a really good tag team there. Uh, and those are they both actually move really well for big guys. They're very athletic and agile, and that's hard because big people aren't usually that athletic and that agile. Just being honest. <laughs> But Undisputed Era retains, uh, they go into the new year, re still NXT Tag Team Champions. Uh, I want to know what's next for the Undisputed Era. Um, I really want to know uh, if they're going to give Heavy Machinery another shot at the titles at TakeOver, or are they going to come up with new challengers? All I know is I cannot wait for TakeOver. Um, I know my dad did say something about wanting to appear on camera with me and maybe review a match or two. Uh, with the uh, with me um, for a takeover so but that's neither confirmed <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to do it just yet or do it or not but guys comes to the point of the video where I'm gonna say good night please leave your comments in the comment box below don't forget to like this video share and subscribe and click the notification so you guys can be notified when new content is made available here at the FM brand of wrestling and entertainment, I am YouTube.com. With that being said, there will be more content. I do have a Royal Rumble video coming soon, and I do have a special video. It is uh, it is focusing on one well, two wrestlers in particular, but it's mainly just one. So I want to say that'll probably be worked on tomorrow and uploaded at some point tomorrow. So make sure you guys keep an eye on out for that. So, guys, for the FM brand of wrestling and entertainment here on YouTube.com, my name is JC Styles. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.